I'm Michelle Murday. I'm the program director of the Colon and Rectal uh, Fellowship here at St. Mark's Hospital. The program started itself in the fall of 2006, so it's been here for a while. In that period of time, we've really focused on making sure that we have well-trained and broadly trained colorectal fellows. My goal as a program director has been to make sure that they have all of the potential tools in their toolbox from which they can select what they need under the right circumstances. Another thing that's unique about uh, Utah and especially St. Mark's Hospital is that it's very collaborative. So we work really well with all of our different disciplines uh, and that's enabled us to offer that much better care to the patients but I think it's also a really good model for our fellows to see that that collaborative relationship is going to help them, help their colleagues, and offer the best possible care. One of the additional strengths of this particular fellowship is that we are part of the HCA network, and it's been visionary on the part of HCA graduate medical education to understand that there are going to be underserved communities some of which are where HCA has hospitals. And they are working to try and make sure that fellows are connected with jobs. The predominance of colorectal fellowships are uh, on the East Coast and the Midwest. Um, and there are additional colorectal fellowships on the West Coast. At least as of right now, we are the only colorectal fellow fellowship in the Intermountain West and the only one uh, in Utah. Uh, which gives us also uh, a unique catchment. Uh, we're not competing with other colorectal fellowships for the cases that the fellows may need. I think one of the biggest draws to this fellowship is just how friendly and collegial everybody is. It's a safe place to learn, to practice, to get ready, to hone and develop your own practice. Um, it's a nice place to live and to work. It's very supportive and everybody a part, that's a part of this fellowship has the fellow's best interest in mind. There is a great dynamic among the partners within the group. They work very well together. There, nothing was awkward about it in the sense that there was a very collegial attitude. You could tell right away that the faculty treat the fellows as equals, as essentially partners, and ex expect you to function at that level as well when you come here. As a former fellow going into practice, I felt very ready to start practice. And even though I have very supportive partners, I never felt like I was not prepared to see patients or take care of problems. And I knew that even if I wasn't practicing here, and this is demonstrated by a lot of our former fellows that if I ever needed help or had a question, I could call at any time and anybody would pick up the phone and help. And I think that's demonstrated week in and week out, both with myself and with our former fellows. Um, once you leave here, you should feel very well supported. I also think the variety of training backgrounds of the faculty um, absolutely um, is a huge draw for the program. I think it provides you not only with different training modalities, um, as the fellow, but also in terms of connections. A fair part of fellowship is during that process looking for the style of practice that you want to um, progress into when you're done with fellowship. And I think having those resources to pull from with respect to each of the faculty coming from different training programs and thus still having contacts around the country really helps in that regard. I made sure that we recruited faculty that were going to be able to do the robotics uh, maintain a pelvic floor program where we do uh, interdisciplinary uh, pelvic floor work. We have an interdisciplinary pelvic floor conference, uh, which enables us to really uh, offer all of those tools in our toolbox as well. It's been really important to me that the fellows get into the clinic, that they know how to take care of patients. Um, in addition, we make sure that they get their colonoscopy numbers. I've been really pleased that we have all of those resources to train people well. I am originally from Texas. I went to med school at the University of North Texas, Texas College of Osteopathic Medicine. 
And then I did general surgery training in Portland, Maine. And then I came here for fellowship and decided to stay here. I think the biggest reason I decided to stay was because of all the people that I work with. Um, I could not have picked a better group of people to be in practice with, both in terms of my partners who are super supportive, fun to work with, but our office staff, the hospital staff, everybody here is a great team and it's a fun place to come to work. Uh, Dr. Kroom is a hoot, understated, an outstanding teacher and one of the most patient surgeons I have ever met and will really take the time to let fellows learn um, well and make sure that they understand what they need. Dr. Kroom has um, two things that she champions, the one being that she's an outstanding robotic surgeon and has got the patience of a saint when it comes to teaching that to fellows uh, uh, and can really do the breadth of uh, robotic surgery. But she's also our pelvic floor champion and there is nothing in pelvic floor that she can't handle. I am originally from the Midwest, small farm town in central Illinois. Um, got out of the Midwest for a period and went to Boston College for undergrad, so spent some time on the East Coast, but then really did all of my medical training back in the Midwest. I went to Rush University in Chicago for medical school, then down to the University of Missouri for a residency, and back up north to the University of Wisconsin for colorectal fellowship. Dr. Melvin is our newest faculty member, just an absolutely wonderful man, outstanding surgeon, really good head because it's not enough to be a good surgeon and know how to do the operation. You've got to know when to do it. You've got to know what the indications are. You need to know when to back off. And he's got a really good head on his shoulders. He's going to be another absolutely amazing mentor for our fellows. I'm originally from the DC metropolitan area. I went to the University of Virginia as an undergrad and graduated with honors, and then went to Eastern Virginia Medical School um, I graduated there, AOA, and went off to do my general surgery residency at the University of Florida, there in Gainesville, Florida, and then went down to Orlando Regional Medical Center and trained with the CRC for colorectal, my own colorectal fellowship. Uh, from there, I came out here, so I moved out here in 2005. Uh, became a part of the Colorectal Fellowship in 2009 and have been there since. I myself do a lot of complex reoperative operations, uh, complicated diverticulitis, complicated Crohn's, um, and so a lot of times my cases are going to be really hard, uh, open abdominal operations. But I also do laparoscopy. I had traveled out in Utah back before I came to move here and love this part of the world. Um, we were also, my husband and I, looking for an area that was going to scratch two itches. I'm a big city girl. I grew up outside of D.C. I'm used to having the trappings of, of big cities, um, food, entertainment, um, kind of the hustle and bustle of, of nightlife. Uh, and my husband is from rural Florida and is used to being able to go out and go explore the wilderness and be away from folks. And this does both easily. Uh, we live right on the Wasatch Front. I'm maybe two miles from this hospital, and easily within five miles of my house, you can get out into the wilderness and be away from everyone, do world-class mountain biking, uh, world-class skiing, hiking is spectacular, uh, and at the same time be downtown and have outstanding food. Broadway comes. We've got two professional theaters. Uh, we've got professional sports between the jazz and Major League uh, Soccer. We've really had uh, the best of both worlds without anywhere near the degree of traffic that I have in Washington, D.C. I enjoy being outside, so living in Utah is great because there's plenty of opportunities to be outside all seasons. There's great hiking, biking, skiing. Um, even if you're not into downhill skiing, there's plenty of winter activities like snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, even winter hiking. It's a beautiful place. The sun's almost always shining, and it's a great place to live if you enjoy the outdoors. I will say Salt Lake City in general is a really, as I mentioned, a nice place to raise a family. And the reason I would say that is it has a mix of both 
um, city life to a degree if you're looking for that, as well as a relatively rural aspect to it as soon as you get out of the downtown. Which, having grown up in a town of 3,000 people where everybody farmed, and then doing um, college and medical school in big cities like Boston and Chicago, it's, I think, a fantastic mix of both worlds. Um, while having the added bonus that almost nowhere else in the country does of absurdly gorgeous mountains.